Welcome to our very simple road trip stretch program. And as promised, there are going to be four exercises that you can do inside your car and three exercises to do when you take that break and you get out of your car. So let's get started with the exercises inside your car. So obviously if you're in the car, you're the passenger probably doing these exercises. The first one we're gonna do is a seated side bend stretch. So you're gonna just sit forward in your seat just a tiny bit so that you're not leaning on the backrest. If it's comfortable, place one arm behind you. If not, just let that arm hang down. You're gonna take your second arm up around your head and you're gonna bend yourself sideways, just like it says. You're gonna hold that 15 to 20 seconds before you reverse and you switch sides. Reach over and bend to the side. The idea here is to bend through your midsection here to get a good stretch on the side of your body. The second stretch that we're gonna do in the sitting position inside the car is a seated cat-cow stretch. The idea behind cat-cow is to get some good flexion of the spine and then some good extension of the spine to counteract all that sitting. So it's just like it says, you're gonna flex your spine by tucking your chin and curling way in, and then you're gonna extend your spine up and tall as far as you can. Now from the side, what you're doing is tucking your chin, rounding your back and your hips, and then you're gonna come back up as far as you comfortably can, extending the spine. And again, you can do that 10 to 15 times. The third exercise we could do is a good upper trap stretch. So again, you're gonna take that arm, if you can comfortably move it behind your back, do so. If not, just let that arm dangle down by the side. So one arm over the head, just above your ear, you're going to pull that neck gently to the side until you feel a nice stretch. If that's not very comfortable for you, you can change the position of your head to looking down more towards the center console or the window, depending on what side. You're gonna hold that for about 30 seconds before you switch sides. So again, arm behind the back if it's comfortable, if not, down by the side. Hand over just about the ear, pull gently to the side until you feel a stretch. Turn it down a little bit and pull if you want to. 20 to 30 seconds, you're gonna do that three times on both sides. The next exercise is a seated calf and toe raise exercise. With the seated calf and toe raises, sitting in your seat just slightly forward. Just like it sounds, you're gonna raise up onto your tiptoes as far as you can, heels down, lift your toes off the floor, back and forth. Back and forth counts as one rep. Try to do 15 or 20 repetitions to get the ankles moving and the blood flowing in those calves. The next three exercises on our road trip stretch program are as promised, the outside of the car exercises. So these are great to do at a rest stop or a gas station whenever you can get out every two to three hours. The first one that we're gonna do is a standing calf stretch. Now you can use any post, you can use the side of your vehicle, that will work just fine. So you're gonna come up to the edge of something that you can push your hands against. One foot is gonna come straight back, toe is pointing forward. I'm gonna lean forward towards my front leg with my hand just supporting me on the vehicle or the post, whatever you have, until I feel a stretch at the back of my calf. I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna switch sides, stepping back with the other side, leaning forward till I feel a stretch. And you're gonna repeat that three times on both sides, okay? So the next stretch that we're gonna do is a standing lunge stretch to stretch the front of those hips after they've spent so long being flexed up in the car. So just like it sounds, standing lunge. You're gonna get in a nice lunge stance if you need to hang on to your car or a wall or something like that for balance, that's fine. But you're gonna get in a nice wide lunge stance, whatever is comfortable, keeping your back heel on the ground as much as you can. You're gonna shift your weight forward until you feel a stretch through the front of your hip. And this one, if it's tight, you can just very gently come in and out of that for 20 to 30 seconds. And then you're gonna switch and do the same thing on the other side now. Leg back, holding on for balance if you need to. Shift forward onto the front leg until you feel a stretch on the front of the extended hip. Just like that. And the last stretch that we have is a standing hamstring stretch. You can use a curb. If you have a shorter vehicle, you can open the door and use the inside of the door. 
whatever you have, we're gonna use this and call it the inside of the car door. You're gonna pop one heel up on that, standing nice and steady again. If you need help with your balance, hold on to something. With your back straight, you're gonna push your bottom back and lean over through your hips, keeping your leg and your knee straight until you feel a stretch along the back of your thigh. You're gonna hold that for 20 to 30 seconds before you switch sides. Knee straight, back straight, lean forward. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds. And again, just repeat that two to three times each side. So the four car stretches and the three outside of the car stretches, if you do those every two to three hours, you're gonna be in good shape when you get to your destination. Happy travels.